I was surprised to learn that there are no plays, poems, or even any letters written in William Shakespeare's own hand. No, no, no! You're gonna have to say Shakespeare. Shakespeare's the man from Stratford. Please say in William Shakespeare's own hand. The Earl of Oxford wrote the works of Shakespeare. Shakespeare. We're talking about the writing, not the person. The person is Shakespeare, the writer is Shakespeare. No, I thought you said that the writer was the Earl of Oxford. Yes, but Shakespeare's the name the Earl of Oxford used to disguise himself. Who are you? Who are you? A patient! A patient! I'm Dr. Boris. No, you're not. I know Dr. Boris. Well, I don't know you. The building has collapsed. This is war. The boom boom. Do you understand? There are bombs. Can you hear the bombs? This is an emergency. And what is that? Ah! That's a wound that hurts. Well, it looks fake. Well, it's not. It's real. It's, it's, it's real, real, real blood. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Skin the Bunny, an aggressive approach to claim back your life. Welcome and thank you for coming. Not for my benefit, but thank you for you. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sarah Tone, and I'm here today to help you take back your life from the choking hands of your fears. We're going to address your fears today, ladies and gentlemen. Fears that have been making it difficult for you to get your dream job, or your dream relationship, or your dream bod body. Your dream body. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, before we address your fears, I'm sure you have some basic questions for me about my book, Skin the Bunny, an aggressive approach to claim back your life. Everyone seems to. Everyone asks me, Sarah, why such an aggressive approach? Why so aggressive? Go ahead, go ahead. I do. See, I blow through here, and the music goes down and around. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Out here. <laughs> See, I blow through here. Where? Here. There? Nope. There. The music goes down and around. Whoa, oh, 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 and it comes out here. Here. Nope. Here. Oh, there. Yes, there. I push the first valve down. Up. Nope. Down. The music goes down and around. Whoa, oh, 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 and it comes out here. There. Well, uh, it's probably got the force that push. What state are you in? I am in my dungeon to await the next sacrifice. That cannot be. Victims are in immediate demand. Moreover, all of the condemned rooms I have witnessed here have wood floors. And light is not altogether excluded. I start to my feet. I thrust my arms above and around me in all directions. Do you feel? No. Nothing. You move forward? Yes. My arms extended, my eyes straining from their sockets. I proceed for many paces. I breathe more freely. I too have heard strange things told of these dungeons, yards deep. But they are fables. With no victim reports, they will remain fables. Enough. Everybody knows the legend. If you fold a thousand paper cranes, one of the ancient gods, some say his name is Quanon, will grant you a single wish. So Sadako didn't come up with the legend on her own. It was a Japanese tradition and had been for many hundreds of years. 